Yeah, so it seemed to be... You always seem to come back to this and... The same struggling question, like... Yeah, I, I realise it's just... You can't really fathom God or get him into your head, but... I do like to try, <laughs> especially when it comes to Scripture. So... This one here, this is the one God verse, alright? It, it sort of says that it's one God. For us, a child is born. So, a child, one child, one person. Alright, unto us a child is given, alright? So, and his name shall be called. Shall be called. There's no maybe or could be. Shall be called. So, wonderful counsellor. That's usually referring to Holy Spirit. Prince of Peace. That's usually referring to Jesus. Everlasting Father, that's usually referring to the Father, and Mighty God, that's all three. That's what I would have, that's what it looks like, that's, that's the way I'd take it. Godhead, that's Godhead to me, that's Godhead. But, <laughs> then you get to verses like Hebrews. Now I'll put this in the NLT just so it reads a bit easier and you can see what it's saying. And when he brought his supreme son into the world, God said, Let all of God's angels worship him. Alright, so this is God the Father said, Let all of God the Son's angels worship him. Because the, God the Son made all the angels. God is, the Son is the creator of all things. Alright. But to the Son he says, Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. Forever and ever. And you rule with the scepter of justice. You're, you you love justice and hate evil. Therefore, O God, this is Father God, saying to Son God, your God has anointed you. All right. So Father God is the God of Jesus, and because Jesus sent the Holy Spirit, then He's the God of Holy Spirit. All right. So we go to John. Eight. It is said also, it is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. So two, two separate men, two different people, two different persons, personalities, two different men. I am one that bears witness of myself, so that's one man, and the father that sent me beareth witness of me. So that's a separate man, another person another another one another person yeah so there you go so that gives you the thing for the three three gods all right so <clears throat> three different people three different persons um so you you know so the 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 only best way i could look at that is um say a laptop and you call a laptop god and it's got three separate programs so you windows and linux and apple <laughs> if you like operating systems um they're all on the same laptop they're all in they're all in one spot they're all classed as god and they're in one one spot and there's three of them which begs the question, what, now why only three? <laughs> Can you have four? I, I, I don't know, I'm only asking, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything. But why, why is, um, <clears throat> is, is there a limit to how many um, gods can be in this one god um, combination thing? So, um, I don't, yeah. I don't know. Still trying to figure it. So, and then if we are in Christ, right? So, right, yeah. I don't know. So, <laughs> there, there's there's verses there where it says uh, Jesus says to them, um, oh, I can't remember which one it is. So. But yeah, Jesus says to them, "All right, now you you guys can go off and you can forgive people's sins. And um, if you if you forgive them, then forgive them their sins, and they are forgiven. Right? If if you don't forgive them their sins, then they keep their sins. Right? Which is something only God does. All right. So uh, <clears throat> that begs the question um, that that might be more in line with 
everyone becoming part of that one laptop <laughs> I'll put it that way one laptop and uh, depending on which operating system you're hanging out with at the time yeah so anyway I'm just musing and stressing myself out as usual <laughs> but anyway yeah I'll just think on that one alright god bless guys